Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica in Hanover, Germany. Brought to you by Bravant right now. We're with the CEO of Volocopter, Florian Ruder. Florian, how's it going? Awesome. Totally excited to be here. Yeah, very, very cool concept. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of interest in drone spraying, and you have probably one of the largest out in the market in a partnership with John Deere. Tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so Volocopter is one of the pioneers of actually building air taxis for urban centers. So based on that technology that we've been developing over the past eight years, you know, we decided there was huge uh, potential also in um, applications beyond the passenger transportation side. And you know, with all the experience we have, all the components and systems we already have on the shelf, we decided let's build a cargo carrying variant uh, for primarily agricultural and logistical purposes. Um, so we set up a dedicated team, you know, kicked off the project about 15 months ago, and this uh, is the result of it, right? We have the first Volo drone demonstrator now. We have a cooperation with John Deere to demonstrate what we can do in the spray application. We're very excited to explore the field. Okay, so how many rotors? Tell us a little bit about the uh, some of the specs on it. Yeah, so the Volocopter drone was built around the idea, or the Volocopter per se, the platform, uh, to provide the, the safest uh, aircraft possible. Um, so eventually we expect the certification requirements to be much higher than what they are today in terms of you know safety track records, uh, just the pure scale at which drones will be applied, especially that size. So we believe there's a huge synergy between the high level of safety that we know from the uh, man side and to also bring that to the unmanned side. Um, so yes, the Volocopter is 18 uh, propellers, uh, nine batteries. So two ba uh, one battery propels two opposite line propellers each, um, which gives us a huge degree of redundancy and a very high reliability of the overall system. Okay, uh, how, big, how about the size of the spray tanks? How big are they? Um, so we have a payload um, of approximately 400 pounds in the product. Uh, this demonstrator is at uh, 250 pounds right now, um, simply because we wanted to, you know, proof point it. It's not yet optimized, um, but that tells you about, you know, uh, the, the the size of the spray tanks as well. The good thing is. Um, the, the amount of uh, spray you can take pretty much corresponds to the duration we have with the battery. So you can refill or swap the battery and actually refill the tank in one go and then go back and you know, you'll know get to a pretty high degree of productivity with that. About 30 minutes of flying time? About 30 minutes of flying time, 40 kilometer range. Um, so that's about the uh, specs that we have, yeah. Okay. How about the 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 sound of it? The, uh, with that many rotors going, it must have a real hum to it. It absolutely has a very interesting uh, sound acoustic signature to it. Um, it's a pleasant hum, as you said. You know, in the um, urban case, noise is the number one differentiating factor. So uh, the Volocopter is the clear industry benchmark when it comes to noise. You will not find a, a vehicle of similar size and payload that is as quiet as the Volocopter. It might not be as decisive out on the field, but it definitely is inside the city. So this is a benefit we just bring along automatically. Well, I, I think a lot of farmers are going to think as well as, you know, you forget your lunch at home. Now you, got, you have a drone to deliver your lunch to you at the, in the field as well. Right, so you know the lunch delivery that we leave to all other players in the small drone space, right? We're really focusing on working. We provide a, a, a benefit, uh, you know, towards over existing solutions, and that clearly lies in the, the amount of payload that we can provide. So we're more really into the spraying, into the you know, uh, where do I have a high payload that needs to be distributed over the field? Do you see Do you see any other applications in agriculture for drones like this? So the first um, application that we have in mind uh, really is the um, you know high value crop spraying like a vineyard and so on, especially if we talk about uh, steep slope. Um, but certainly we can imagine that there is a lot of other ap uh, applications where. Uh, you have a benefit in going into the air. For example, if you have a very wet underground, right, you don't want to go uh, with a heavy truck uh, or tractor right on top of that because of the you know oxygen that you then uh, uh, get out of the soil and so on. Uh, soil compression, I think, is the, is the, the, yep. the term there. Um, and you know, I think once we've proven the productivity of our product, the reliability, the, the cost effectiveness, you know, I, I can imagine a surprisingly high number of applications actually taking advantage of the third dimension. And we're in the future farming zone here. How, how close is this kind of application to reality? So, you know, as I said, from idea to demonstrator 15 months, I think that's a pretty impressive uh, speed. 
Um, we now have the demonstrator, right? So it's our intention uh, to go out in the field and actually demonstrate and learn what the drone can do for farmers around the world. We also encourage partners and farmers to actually come and approach us with their ideas because they know much better about their you know, challenges and where the drone can actually you know, provide uh, uh, input than, than us. So we're in a mode where we're exploring. Um, but we're absolutely committed to this space and we have already launched a, a serial production uh, development. So this demonstrator, as you see, we can put out in the field tomorrow. Um, it can do everything the Volocopter platform can do, right? It has a whole set of automated features, extremely reliable and redundant uh, flight control, uh, GPS navigation. So all of those features are already in there. So I would say, yes, it's pretty close to market entry. Well, Florian, thank you very much uh, for this discussion and uh, congratulations on the Volocopter. Thank you. Enjoy your technica.